grown for the past three years or four years now. All the crops you've grown. Yeah. So you've mentioned papushito, tomatoes, tomatoes, green pepper, garden egg, okra. Mm -hmm. The and the lettuce and the other ones were just trials. Only okay. they were just trials. Yeah, but the main ones: cabbage, green pepper, papushito, tomatoes, garden egg. Okay. Yes. Those are the main ones I really Carrot sweets for trying to No, it was just for trials. That's your trials. Yeah, just... Among those ones you mentioned, which one do you say like fetches green pepper? Green, green pepper, pepper fetches, yes. Okay, yes, why? Yeah. That, for me, I term it as the, the cocoa of vegetables. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the cocoa yes, of vegetables. Or the golden vegetables. So, okay. Yes, I was yes. thinking it was okra. No, it de okra depends on the season. Okay. But you know, when let's say dry season right now. People who have cocoa, they will get a lot of money. Okay. But if I have um, uh, an acre of um, green, pepper. green pepper, and you have an acre of cocoa, I should make you more money than you. Yes. Wow. Yes, I'll make more money than you. It's a beautiful brand new day. I welcome back to another exciting family week in Ghana. It's really the first time seeing me. I'm Charles. And they shall talk about farming and agriculture here in Ghana. Today, I bring you an inspiring story of a graduate from the University of Ghana who, my profession, is a food processing engineer. And after working for some number of years, he decided to quit whatever he's doing and venture into farming on a very large scale. He is into vegetable farming here in the Volta region. And precisely why I'm in the Volta region is Akachi. Um, I think it's the second time being in here in the Volta region, specifically at Akachi district. I think the last time I was in Akachi. Was when I visited um, Godwin and Believers Farm. If you remember, are you getting me? Are you getting me? Yes. That was the first time I came to at least Akachi side of the Volta region. Um, today I'm here on their farm to look at um, how they started, how the journey has been for in Ghana, and why he even decided to quit his job as a food processing engineer to venture into vegetable farming full time, and even why vegetable farming in the first place. Before you get into the video, make sure you like this video for me. Like so you to get to promote it to other viewers. Subscribe to the channel so we all grow together and share. The I pull out the windows of these inspiring stories to at least ginger them to start their own farm this year. So please share it to them so they can get and be inspired to start their own farm. Subscribe because the goal of this year is to reach 100,000 subscribers. So please, if you are watching this video, kindly hit on the red button to subscribe and be part of this awesome family. All right, without what I do, let's get right into the video. Okay, so I'm here with uh, Michael. I have to know how he started his farm and why he got himself into farming. And um, please, can you introduce yourself to my viewers? So I am Michael Makafu Kobuton. Um, a graduate from University of Ghana. I completed 2016. Then um, I think that is something small. I just say about, about myself you. for now. Yes. Oh, nice. Yes. University of Ghana. Yes. I was on the University of Ghana. He was on the University of Ghana. Oh, okay. So it's yeah, nice. It's nice have, to see have, a, a fellow we here. We have the squad here. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How old did you say the University of Ghana? I did food process engineering. Oh, food nice. Food process engineering. Yeah, yeah. Shaf, shaf. 2016. 2016. Right. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, first yeah. University of Ghana, where did you went to? Uh, yeah. So after uni, um, I did my service with um, Food and Drugs Authority at Kofuria, the the Eastern Regional Head Office. Okay. Then okay. from there, I had some few jobs with um, Arabian quality. The Harris Kitchen. They do. They are into restaurants. They they sell this. Um, assorted rices and those stuff. So I worked with them for some time. Got another job at in Saom. Okay. Then <laughs> another one at uh, Brekusu. There is one sachet water company at Brekusu. Uh, Just opposite the Ashes University. Okay. Uh, down there. So then from there to Dufo Ghana. Dufo Ghana. Uh, Dufo Ghana. No, they do. They do Indomie. Indomie. We started the Indomie at Accra. So now they do Indomie in Ghana here. Okay. Yes. Then I I was with them for a year. Then I decided to come back home. Okay. Yes. That's decided it. Then, decided to come back. I started from here, so decided to come back to Akachi. The plan was to set up a business, and uh, I did set up started with a bakery. Okay. So we we were doing bread and varieties of bread. Then we added some pastries and some other stuffs. How long was this? Um, this about three years ago. 
Okay. Yes, three years ago. Uh, let me see. Oh, we're in 2024 now. Yeah. So let me say four years ago. Oh, that's been long. Yeah, it's been long. We started this business to <laughs> <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. So one day I was just at my bakery and uh, a friend of mine was passing by. He's a friend. He was passing by and I asked him, uh, where are you going? He dressed like a farmer. Okay. So I was asking, uh, where are you going? He said he's going to the farm. We are going to the farm. We farm. He said yes. He said wow. Uh, I've been thinking of going into farming too. Okay. So that is how come I I spoke with him, and he brought me to the farm. Lo and behold, he brought me here. So okay. that was about uh, three to four years ago. He brought me here, and we had a very long chat. But that's what, what was he farming? He he was doing green pepper. He did green pepper when we came to the farm. It was green pepper that was here. Okay. Um, two two very long lanes, and as at the other end. So I went to see it, and I realized oh, there is prospect in this business. Okay. Because um, my elder brother, no elder cousin, is a cousin of mine by his older than me. He was doing um, Charlotte. At Charlotte, um, how do you call it? At Bozume. Okay. And one day a disaster happened, and uh, it rained heavily. Oh. So we lost everything. So we decided not to go into it again. So he packed the machines and all those stuff down. So when he said he was into farming, I was like, oh, okay, we have some equipment there. We can go to Agbozbe and go and bring them so that we supplement whatever we have over here. And that's Yes, then with that. So we went to that place, brought the things and realized, oh, we could extend the farm a little bit with whatever we are having. Sure. So then we extended it with additional two lanes. So just like um, three quarter of an acre. Okay. Yeah. So that was where we started. So I developed interest into because it's an irrigation farm. You farm all year round. Exactly. So yeah. That that was where I was like, okay, I will join him. Then you do it we do it. So we do it in partnership. Yes, but because he started, we we'll just re evaluate everything. Mm -hmm. Then we'll see which share he will hold and which share I will also hold. Nice, nice. And nice. so that is how come we, we started there. No, we continued because he has already, already begun. Yes, 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 we have already begun. So that's how come we, we continued till now. So we've been into it for about um, three years. This year will be the fourth year. He has been into it a year before later you. before me. So he is into it for four years now. And I've joined in 2021. Uh, 2020. I joined in 2020. So three years down the lane. This is how far we have come. Started with two lanes. We've taken about three acres from the front here. Okay. Then we have additional two acres at the back. The back of the palm, the palm tree. Oh, okay, so there's another yes. farm. Yes, there's another, farm another, farm. another farm over there. We, we we were doing okra, but because the water was getting finished, okay. we had to just pause. Yes, nice, nice. Then just do it in this place. Nice. Mm, so I have a lot of questions. <laughs> that is how come we, we started. We started this. Nice, nice, nice. That is where we are now. Okay. Yes. So let, let's go back a bit to SHS. Before senior high. Yes, yeah. senior high. So um, what did you say? I believe is there something science related? I did there? science. Pure yeah. science. Okay. But what, what... Is it that you wanted to do food and food processing? or uh, Like for Legon, I think that time we were, we were supposed to choose two... Uh, major courses so i picked one from the health science okay and the other one from the engineering department so i was hoping i'll get that of the health because that was my first choice actually sure, uh, sure so i didn't get that one so they gave me food process i chose it not that they gave they me. it okay yeah, part that, of the selection yes, it's that part of the, but that was the first one because in uh, i greek engineering biomedical materials computer and food process engineering so okay. i chose food processing and uh, maybe it's because i i love being in the kitchen too so yeah, 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 so all the TV comes to that because from all the places you went, <laughs> it seems like it had to do with something food, like food. Yes, yes, food, yes, food, yes. Food. I also like being in the kitchen, so maybe that that also um, um, just brought me to that uh, field. Yes. Nice, nice, yes. nice. And working being in the food industry, how has it been? The food industry is good. It, it's not bad when you start. It's food. Every day people eat. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so when you start anything in the food food industry, you will not lose. Just that you would have to be very very careful with how you handle your 
your customers and the, when whatever you produce okay because with a little mistake you could press a lot of people true yes, yes and that will cause a lot of financial loss to you and your company you even you can even go out without any yes yeah. out of business yeah. so yeah. it's been good i worked with um harry's kitchen i think for three months no no it's not back to three months just one and a half months when the food juice company called okay at in sound so that one they were facing some challenges in um microbiology where their juice was getting spoiled so they needed a quality control person to come and yes so there. i went there god willing we tried to manage it so i stayed there for close to eight months Oh, nice. some issues uh, some issues with financials you know these private businesses sometimes uh, if your first month they pay you second month as time, goes, pay on you, as time goes on it <laughs> starts coming down with plenty stories so okay you guys have to leave yes i have to leave then to the um what that company has been pursued okay they, i have no issue with the management but it's there it's the workers okay yes some sabotage here and there so oh, yes, ghana <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were there before i came how can you just come and come and be a supervisor so, exactly yes those are those are some of the things so i spoke with the woman and i decided to just mm-hmm. leave then stayed home lo and behold stayed home i came back december then january february an application i did about two years ago mm-hmm. online called oh God. yes so quickly i went we went for the interview on friday then monday i'm supposed to start work oh that quick. yes yes, yes <laughs> very quick because the the installations were being done and they needed to train people okay yes mm-hmm. so we went monday we started the training then uh, we went through the training so we started working with i started working with indomi um, as quality control officer okay yes nice. so checking specifications and all those things to make sure whatever that is being produced is right? up to standard yeah. yes it's up to standard um a year down the lane <laughs> <laughs> So this thing it affects me. You know, when I go for interview, they ask me, ah, why is that you you're moving, you're moving yeah. from jobs to jobs? That's Charlie. <laughs> you realize that time the economic situation was somehow and Accra with the money they were paying, yeah, I was somebody. expecting they could pay more. Yeah. Just a little bit more. And they they were also not willing. Okay. So if there is no motivation yeah, to be there, that's you, you wouldn't want to you exactly. wouldn't want to be there. So I just decided to come back home and see what I could get from home. So lo and behold, my friend Stephen, he was farming and I decided Gen- to join him. But instead of doing bakery first, so you just stop yes, no, no, the bakery. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, the bakery. The bakery was still running. We we bake I bake bread when we started. I told him I could not come in the morning. Okay. Yes, so I'll make sure I bake the bread in the morning. Then later in the afternoon, after two o'clock, I can come to the farm. <laughs> yes, that's what I told him. I can't come in the morning because we wake up around three o'clock okay. to start the bread uh, process. Okay, yes, okay. so by six seven, I should be done, and we we'll go for some distributions. So I have to make sure I do all those things before, before. I come to the farm later. But as time goes on, I have to employ people. So I do take up the know. bread baking business, then I'll be part oh, of sorry. the farm fully. Yes, so I think um two years. No, it's not it wasn't even up to two years. I think a year I decided to join the farm fully. So that was how come we were managing both the farm and, and the bakery. So the bakery is still running. Now we've added some Beverages and some pastries and all pastries that. and all that. Yes, oh, yes, nice, nice, nice. Oh, no? oh, small. <laughs> yes, yes, a small business man. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, so, nice. um, what did when you came? He was in. He said he was in Green Pepper, right? Yes. When I came, I met Green Pepper. He was. He had already started. So, uh, we have to wait till the that particular season is over. Then we did a bit extension. Okay. Then we repeated the green pepper, green pepper again. again. Okay. Um, we, yes, we were all learning at that time. We were still getting informations from 
other farmers and other uh, people that are ahead of us so mm -hmm. from green pepper we did green pepper again and we were told it's not actually advisable to repeat vegetables on the same food like that so it's best you do different different crops. different uh, so you do some crop rotation if the food is big enough our place is not that big as of that time so we still repeated it and um, the results was not that good because the infestations of last season have still the affected the current season yeah. so from there we decided to change the green pepper to something or so something that fungi wouldn't as affect that much so we, we did um cabbage we brought cabbage cabbage fungi doesn't really affect that much so we brought cabbage and nematodes too don't affect the root system okay yes, so we, we try cabbage and it worked so so we started doing the crop rotation oh, we do this for then, like then we, we switch to cabbage then we are also trying other vegetables along the the farm extends to the other side okay yes so we are doing some other trying some cabbage uh, carrots lettuce garden egg we did at the back um okra we did some some over here yeah. then papashito Appreciate we did it all over this place. We we did tomatoes too. Yes, well. We are still doing tomatoes now too. So, okay. Mm. But why why um mainly vegetables? Oh. I know you came to me to doing green pepper. Yes, yes. And that was the vision. But when also came, why is it that you guys are mainly well, vegetables? <laughs> vegetables are I think within three months or after three months you should be looking at harvesting. Okay. So whatever you've invested, you'll be hoping that by the third month to the fourth month, you are getting your money back. Okay. So maybe because of that, not maybe, because of the short lifespan, we decided to go into vegetables and be making our money every it's three months good. after. Yes, yeah, so and vegetable is good. It is a good business to do. Okay. Once you are taking good care of it it will also take good care of you <laughs> <When> <laughs> i like that your pocket <laughs> okay yes, so okay pocket. so that leaves my next question that is vegetable farming profitable yes it is it is vegetable farming is profitable okay at least if you take care of it 50 percent returns you should be able to get when you are wow. done when you take care of it no well, when you don't take care of it you will not get anything even sometimes <laughs> you could lose everything on the farm okay because of maybe fungi infestation or something else you could or even disaster natural disaster that can happen let's say rainfall the the garden egg we did at the back it was growing let's say somewhere around three weeks four weeks had a very heavy rain hmm. it uprooted everything oh you could see the root system of of oh, the tree yeah. of the plant so that one you've gone into a lost yeah yes yeah, so it is profitable if you uh fungi and other diseases don't worry you you make your money mm -hmm. but that one too, you would have to stick to the protocols you have to be someone who does preventive okay yeah rather than doing a uh, reaction yeah so when you do that you also enjoy it. it's profitable Nice, nice, nice. So, um, for the past three years or four years now, all the crops you've grown. Yeah, so you mentioned papushito, tomatoes, tomatoes, green pepper, garden egg, okra. Mm -hmm. The and the lettuce and the other ones were just trials. Only okay. they were just trials. Yeah, but the main ones: cabbage, green pepper, papushito, tomatoes, garden egg. Okay. Yes. Those are the main ones I really Carrot sticks for trying to use it. was just for trying yeah, so Among those ones you mentioned, which one do you say like fetches green pepper? Green, green, green pepper, pepper fetches, yes. Okay, why? Yes. That, for me, I term it as the, the cocoa of vegetables. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the yes, cocoa of vegetables. The golden vegetables. So, okay. Yes, yes. I was thinking it was okra. No, it, okra depends on the season. Okay. But you, when, let's say, dry season right now, people who have cocoa they will get a lot of money okay. but if i have um uh, an acre of um green pepper, green pepper and you have an acre of okra i should be making more money than you yes wow. 
test and make more money. Is it that so what makes it profitable? Is it that there's ready market for it or the there is ready market the pricing? Okay. You see, and uh, and um, not a lot of people are right. going into yeah. green pepper. So most of the time, right now, when you go to market, you want to buy green pepper. One, one something small is five cities. Hmm. Yes, it's five cities. So if you have green pepper now, you are rich. <laughs> they have yeah, it. Okay. Yeah, so okay. for me, I'll go for green pepper any day, any time. Just that it is a dadabi plant. <laughs> you take good care yes, of. yes. You have to take good care of it. It's very you have to monitor every every single day you have to monitor it. Okay. Yes. And a lot of um diseases, pests do worry it. Mm. So you would have to take extra care, care when you are into very uh, green pepper farming. Yeah, it's nice. And what season all year round? All, all year round, all year round, but mainly when you start, let's say in January, February, March. March, you should be doing your transplant. April, May, it is almost ready. Then the uh, rainy season starts for the normal farmers. Okay, you understand. Then, then maybe I've started harvesting. Uh -huh. sure, 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 sure. So we just have to time them. Time them. Then June, May, June, we started harvesting. I make a lot of money. Nice, nice, nice. So green pepper is like that's why cabbage to like it fetches a lot of money. Yeah, cabbage fetches but cabbage is one time harvest. The moment you cut you sell you are done. Okay, okay. it doesn't grow. No, 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 no. For green pepper it's like this number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For your block, you still have some of them fruity. True, 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 uh -huh. true, 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 true. It fruits a lot. So maybe I sell cabbage a per head on the farm let's say three cities or four cities okay. but a plant of uh, just a tree of the uh, one okay. plant of green pepper can give me less than 10 cities averagely wow yeah and you know there's money in oh it is the good of so far that's what i've seen yeah, i think i visited another farm too the guy who made mention of green pepper yes so he was like that one to be like fetches a lot of money yeah and, uh, um, yeah um, i love to go to good pepper but you have to be very very ready for it you yeah. have to very very it's very a lot of work in it has a lot of work to be done fungi bacteria pests trips trips you don't even see them you can't see them so <laughs> they hide under the the leaves you understand mm. very difficult to control Yes, nice, so nice, green nice. Pepper. For me, it is green pepper. Any day, any time. Anytime. Mm -hmm. Okay, but well, so Carol, what do you guys have on the farm? Currently, we have um, we have an acre of cabbage. Okay. At the other end, then we are almost done harvesting our tomatoes. tomatoes here. So those are the two things we have. Mm -hmm. We were doing. I told you we were doing okra at the back, but looking at this is the water the community also uses. So we don't need to put much pressure on the mm -hmm. water during this dry season, or else it will be an issue. They could come and even stop you. Yeah. yeah. So we decided to stop the okra because it's taking a lot of water. Okay. So we decided to stop that one and just focus on the. Sure. Uh, but I mean, all vegetables. Like need a lot of water, right? Yes, but when you water them too much too. So cabbage needs water and the sunshine. They need the two. But during this normal uh, uh, vegetative stage or let's say two weeks, three weeks after you've transplanted, or even the first week, when you give it a lot of water there, it will rot. The root will just rot. Mm -hmm. So it will be there, you'll be seeing you think it is growing, but when you approach it, there is nothing under. So the root system will just rot. Okay. So okay. when it is growing, it needs a lot of water to to work. Sure. That is how come it forms and you see it very big like that. Nice. Nice. So look, we we'll do a video on cabbage farming if you want to start as a beginner. So it shows more light on that for us. Okay. But um, I want to know what are what are some of the challenges that came in when you guys when you came to partner with your friend on the farm. What are some of the main challenges starting? The main challenge was that firstly we, okay, I came as a novice. Okay, he was already into it. One year experience. Yes, one year experience. That that is actually <laughs> no no experience because sometimes you do it, he gets frustrated, then he stops. Okay, and he'll be like the thing that has spot, so he will not continue again. Uh, but he did one one. He did one cabbage at his backyard. Mm. And Charles, when you see that cabbage, very very big. I'll send you a picture of it. Nice. The head was very big. 
So that motivated him again. He was like, ah, if I've been able to do backyard, where can't I translate it into? So the, the main challenge from the start was like we were all new into it. Okay. So by the time I realized we, we observed something wrong on the field, now that you are trying to look for solutions. solutions. And it's sometimes it takes time. By the time I realize your your cabbage or your vegetable has um, has gone bad, you couldn't okay. do anything about it. Yeah. Then the other one is um theft, theft cases. Oh okay. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> when you leave your this this is actually the third machine we are buying. The first one got spoiled. The second one they came for it. The pumping machine. They came to borrow it, but they never, they never, they never returned it. Okay, that yes, one is so, there. Yes, so theft. So you don't leave your things just around like that. Sometimes you come and realize that your your pipes and things are damaged, and it's intentional. People come and just step on it. Sometimes they use cutlasses to cut the the lines. Yes, yes, people are wicked. People are wicked. And when it comes to um, we have financial challenge too. Okay. Yes, and that is huge. You can't start vegetable farming with um, just something small. Mm -hmm. When you want to really go into business. Okay. Yes. So the financial aspect too is there. You would have to get prepared before you enter. When you enter, let's say you want, let's say you need five thousand to complete the season. Okay. And you start with two thousand. What if you are going and you don't get the additional three thousand? Yeah. So mostly we try to gather whatever we need for the next season. Then we start. Okay. Even if you are not able to get everything, at least eighty percent you should, you have should be able to get. Then you start. And you know that you'll be able to complete the season. When it when it comes to the west, you could go and borrow some chemicals yes. to finish. Yeah. Uh -huh. So those are some of the challenges. Make sure you get your pocket okay, pet cases. So, because we are we are novice like that. We we started with no um, much experience, much experience and background knowledge. knowledge. Yeah. It's actually worried us. But three years down the line. I think we are we are better off. Nice. Yes, yes, nice, we are nice. better. I like off. that. I like that. <laughs> Speaking of the finances, someone will be watching us. As you said, maybe I want to go into one acre of cabbage. Yeah. So one acre of cabbage, one acre of green pepper, pepper, and one acre of tomatoes. How much capital will you say I would need for each of them? Okay, I'll give average. Okay. And this this also will depend on your source of water. How far your source of water is from the the farm. The farm. Okay. And when you are starting, when you are starting during the, let's say, in the rainy season, you will not need much fuel because it is when it doesn't rain that you supplement it. Okay. But when you are starting during the dry season, so let's just set the base to be the dry season okay. where you are buying everything at, uh, at fresh. So from ours, let's say, this is about just 50 meters from the water source to the farm. To the farm. Yes, the connection we did. So, free view for one acre, I should be giving you from 7,000 to 10,000. To go the yes, one acre. To go the one getting the seeds. You uh, get the seed, you get your pipes, you get your fertilizer, then you get, you get your machine. The so, pumping machine, the pumping machine. Yes, yes, you get your pumping machine. Then you can, you can. To and you should be able to between seven thousand seven, seven to ten will be okay considering the water source very close to you like this okay yes okay and, and how much would you say from an acre i could make from cabbage farming <laughs> Normally, I don't, I don't like giving. <laughs> I don't like giving figures. Yeah, because when you give, I give you figures, and you go and oh, it, and you say, yeah, "Hey, yeah, Charlie." Yeah, yeah. So I understand. So we normally that's why I say um, I give in percentages. Okay. When you handle the cabbage, you should be able to make at least fifty percent profit from it. Okay. For okay. you are done. Let's see, so you invest ten thousand. You should get your ten thousand back. Get additional five thousand. Five thousand and it could be more. But it could be more. But the least the least you profit. could get is fifty percent profit and above. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Nice. I don't want to but I, I understand at least it makes it make, it make sense. So yes, at that least at sense. least you should get fifty percent. You should get fifty percent and more. Okay. At least. Okay. Yeah. And there is coming to there is market for it, right? There is market for it. The cabbage now 
what is normally done is when it's when you are two let's say cabbage is cabbage takes 72 to 75 days to be ready okay so let's say when you are in the 40 50 there you should be looking for markets for it then now there are a lot of people who want to who are, who are already waiting for <laughs> the your, to buy. Your, your your vegetable to be ready then they come okay yes yeah, so there is ready markets they come they call it's not ready they come it's not ready when it is ready and they come that day they are going to harvest everything, everything from the farm unless the ones that are not really formed they okay. harvest everything do their own bargain you price they take their thing you just say you the farmer you don't even stress you don't even stress yourself they will they will bring the pot come and do the cutting and the bargain for you yeah then they take their thing away nice, mm. nice so there is nice. there is actually market for vegetables vegetables yes okay there is market for the ready market okay ready so, market. So you can... just have to do your homework very well get your customers down they are updating them when it's ready, they will come and buy. Right. Okay. Okay. So, all right. So we look. We go into detail when it comes to cabbage farming. So you throw small light on that for us. So for tomatoes as well. Okay. okay. Tomato to the same estimate. If I'm to go into it for one acre, how much would you say I need for tomato? You you could see that we did a little bit um staking. Yeah. For this. Well, that's, yeah. So the first one that we did, we we spent around. 15 fifteen thousand. okay and how big was that mm. half an acre half an acre yes okay. tomato is stubborn sometimes because it's, it's just like the green pepper it needs some um some other chemicals for it to even um, be firm for it to even ripe very well okay yes and for it to fruit for you so additional cost when it comes to it. so fifteen thousand is okay and the sticking but this for this particular one we did um the trees we with the sticks we really didn't buy but when i cost it we should be looking at sixteen thousand there Six thousand for only for the sticks or like no 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 for everything for everything yes okay. for everything so that's to go into tomato farm. tomato farming and i I put the the returns basically on fifty percent. Also fifty percent. Yes. Okay, fifty okay. percent. So at least your tomatoes, you need more a little bit you more than a little more compared to cabbage. Yeah, cabbage. Cabbage. All you need is your water, your insecticide, yeah, your fertilizer. Go. You are good to go. But not only is more chemicals. You need more chemicals. You need fungicide. You need bactericide. Then some other um, foliar fertilizers too. Okay, let's let you guys. This estimates doesn't include the land and everything. Just getting the seeds and all. No, of no, 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 no. It it doesn't include the yeah. land. The land is already there. The, the just that, but the the food one also takes a lot of um a lot of cash. Okay. Yes, it takes a lot of cash. That's why I picked everything during the dry season. It takes a lot of cash because. <laughs> We, this one we watered in the morning but if you can see from here you realize that it's not really showing that you've watered it for for the cabbage yeah uh -huh. so depending on the weather or maybe when you're about to close we'll flash it with another water before we go to the house yeah okay. okay so the watering takes a lot of fuel and that that is additional cost Sure. During the dry season, sure. So, if you look at cabbage, you look at tomatoes now. Green pepper, green pepper is the <laughs> I, I already told you is that a B, yeah. Yes, is that a B? Green pepper is that a B. So, for one acre, uh, 20, let me peg it at 20,000. 20,000, yes, okay. for an acre, 20,000. You should then be able to. What about the returns? Then the returns. <laughs> When every all things being equal, seventy yeah. percent is okay. Oh wow! Yes, nice. So twenty percent higher than the others. Than, than the others. Yes, nice. I, nice. I love green pepper. Just that is complicated. Mm. I love to do green pepper. It's very complicated too, but okay. it gives you good. Results. I've heard the seeds are quite expensive. The, yes. Yeah. As the when we started, St Stephen, yeah. the green pepper when we started, the seed. How much are you getting it? What is that? And 250. Yes, but now it's almost 700 to 800. Yeah. Wow. Yes. The last time too, I asked um, Bright, they agri seed. Yeah, yeah, we normally buy from them. Okay. They he said 720 something. So you could see. 
very expensive and that is Simbad. Oh, okay. Uh, that, the variety, variety yeah, yeah, the Simbad. Yes. Right. We have other varieties that are cheap, but <laughs> the Simbad seems to, yeah, best to, to be the best. It's able to withstand some other, um, uh, let's say, diseases and even the harsh weather conditions sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. But, and the tomato too, variety, you know. We we love to do cobra. So this is cobra thirty four. Okay. Yes, there is cobra twenty six, but that one it gives you plenty yield, but it's not that strong. Okay, okay. Big okay. When it comes to the size, so we want we like to do cobra thirty four. Okay. It's also a fruit, but um, it's very big. So you are able to take good care of it. Okay. Yeah, that's big, yeah. So there, there is this, uh, I don't say misconception, but this formation going out. The normal tomato should grow, they bring them from Burkina. You get it. And according to the market women, the Burkina ones that they bring last longer than the ones that are local farmers grow. So you realize most of the market, when it comes to tomatoes, they buy the ones that are being um, mm. brought outside. Mm. Um, I want to know what's your take on that. And even with the tomatoes you guys grew here, um, if you were to compare it maybe with the ones that come from the Burkina, what, what difference can you see and what, what's your thought on that? The, huh, the market even, most of them I don't know, but because they, they've been buying or they usually buy from mm -hmm. Burkina those days, even now they still buy. So the, the variety they get from Burkina, they, they even call it Burkina. Yeah, they call it Burkina. Call it Burkina. Yeah. So the variety they brought, for, they normally bring from there. It's not as if it is the best. For me, I'll not say it's the best. Okay. Because I've come to grow uh, uh, Cobra 34. Mm -hmm. Cobra 34. And you can't convince me to, to do any variety again. Okay. When you are going, I'll give you some. You can just keep it for record. Drop it on your shelf yeah, under like and, and a normal uh, room temperature. It will be there for you. Nice. Yes. We have the local varieties. That one, because it is watery, it has a lot of water content. So okay. that one, it gets brought within yeah. some few days. Okay. But the variety we are doing here, for me, you can't convince me any otherwise. I just love it. it, it the shelf life is just there. Okay, is there very long shelf life? So the the misconception now a lot of people are doing tomatoes in Ghana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when you go to um uh, the Keta Angola oh, yeah. area, they do tomatoes. Joffy, they do a lot of tomatoes. They they normally do the local variety for the tomatoes. Yes, okay. they normally do the local variety. The name is it Petrofec? Petrofec, yeah. yes, that's what they do. The variety, the variety, the that's, that, that's what they do. So, the Burkina, when I compare Burkina with this, for me, I'll go for this. Okay. I'll choose this one any day, any time. This one is more heavier. Burkina is not that big. The, we have the... Yeah, it's, it, it, it's not that big as okay, compared to the Burkina. I like the way this one looks. They look like very nice and like... Yes, and, what, and the chemical usage. The usage when it comes to the you see sometimes they tell you when you apply fungicide you should apply maybe seven days again before okay. before yeah but somebody a farmer could apply fertilizer no the fungicide today and three and days time he's still, still applying okay yeah. and maybe we have pre uh, pre harvesting periods Interval sometimes it's even for fourteen days when you apply a particular chemical but somebody. I don't know <laughs> who, who apply today and tomorrow he or she is harvesting. So some those are some of the things that will, will not make your your tomatoes or your vegetable last okay. on the shelf. Yes, on the shelf. So we try to stick to those protocols. Yeah. Nice, mm -hmm. nice, nice. I like, I like, I like that. So honestly, because this I've uh, been hearing a lot that the market women, the Burkina one is better, and I'm like, ah. Why is that that, that perception out there? Oh, is, yeah, for me, I know a lot of people grow tomatoes yes, in yes. Ghana. So why don't you guys come and buy from them directly? But I'll go and import them for. I, I think outside. we have another one from Bergotu. Okay. We have tomatoes from Bergotu. That one too is very good. Mm. Yeah, the Bergotu is very good. Uh, uh, one farmer told me about the Abali. 
So there's another variety too of tomatoes. It's round okay. said it's very good. Uh, it, like it's heavy. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of fruit inside. That and it, has, it lasts long to long. Mm -hmm. Yes. Once the water content is not high, it will last for last years for mm -hmm. the, the flesh is plenty than the, the water content. Yeah. But the local ones, the petrofec, we did it once. Yes, when when you look at it, you realize that no, it's not this one. It will not last long <laughs> because the, the water content is very very high. Nice, yes, nice, yes. nice, nice, nice. Okay, so um, let me just think. We'll try and be getting close to the end of the video. So if there's any advice, you know, there are people out there who are watching us, who um, like the youth out there who are not thinking of the idea of agriculture. The some people have farmlands, but like for them to get involved in agric is something that they don't look at it. If there's any advice or any message for them, what what would that be? Okay, so my fellow youths out there. A Greek <laughs> um, is turning the economy of the country around and I would want to advise once you have the land please go into farming because it, it's a profitable business don't don't say that there are no jobs in the country yes we know there are a few jobs in the country we know <laughs> that one yeah, we all know but please try and create something for yourself once the land is there go to the villages look for the lands start something you realize that as time goes on you even develop love for whatever you are doing mm -hmm. yes once you are investing money into it yes, <laughs> no matter what you yes, want yes, your investments you go down the day you develop love for it and there are there are no jobs but we can create some of the jobs ourselves exactly. yes, yes let's not wait for the politicians to be creating jobs for us the land is there we have a very fast land in the country yeah, nah. yeah. yes that are not being used for anything so please let's get into our break you can see we are we are four four young guys into it. yes we are into our break and we are we are just we, we love what we do so please yes. go into it and you will make it you nice, make nice, it, yeah. nice and i believe if, if it was not to be fetching money you'd have stopped because long, long all the jobs you had long long time <laughs> i, I, I would have gone back to accra to look for a job yes yes i would have gone back to a, but uh, my, my my friend is is a, is a very good motivator too so nice yes nice, Some, nice. Uh, when we did the green uh, the the okay. garden egg, okay. we did the garden egg and water came for it. <laughs> we say water came for it. <laughs> water came for it. We went home, we sat down, and we were like, ah, this thing that is looking fresh, like you could see, just three weeks to four weeks, but the leaves are developing broadly and it yeah. is it is growing very well. We just sat down, we were just in the room, we lie down on the on the floor. Like, ah. So all this investment is gone. Give me a second though. <laughs> but it's rained during the night. So the next day we came. Oh, mm -hmm. We just came to see and realized no no no. We pack our everything and we went back to the house. Oh. Yes. So for like two days, we didn't step our foot on the farm. <laughs> yes, because whatever you see over here, we just bring your spirits down. Exactly. Yes, yes. So it's profitable. But the next one that we did was okay. So it's coming yes, up for that. It's coming yes. up for the, the lost. The lost. So okay. we are into business. Yeah. Nice, nice. If there's any advice you have for new beginners who want to go into vegetable farming, what, what would that be? Yeah. That one. When you are a new beginner and want to go into vegetable farming, please seek um advice and make sure you read about whatever you want to. But sometimes the reading and whatever is on the food are that two depends. different things. Yeah. So yeah. please visit the people that are into it. Go to various various farms. Learn from them. I think no no. When you go to any farmer, you will not be refused of knowledge. Yeah. Yes. Once the person sees that you are serious, you will not be refused. Yes. There is one man we had to worry when it came to the cabbage. Okay. You worried him. And he realized we were serious. So later he called. He himself called. Then you guys can come out. Yes. No, he didn't even ask us to come home. Because where he is, is fast. So he called. And he spent more than an hour. Oh, okay. Explaining yes, the Explaining thing. every thing. So we were writing it down. <laughs> he explained everything to us. Yes. And later he sent us. He did the voice recording and sent it to us back. Oh, nice. To listen to. So then you try for you guys. Yes. So please just go to the farms this is the farms get the knowledge then you start and if you want to start don't start big at once please yeah that's another important yes thing. yes when you start big from the start you may not be able to handle it and um it will crash you 
because of the investments you make it will just crash you so when you have an acre of land you can divide it into four quarter pick one do the cabbage when you are realizing that that one is going then you do another two okay and at the um, the next time you do one yes so it will help you so the knowledge gaining is very important visit farms and don't start them very big at once or else you lose all your investment so you start small um, improve upon it then you can be expanding nice yeah. nice 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 so new beginners are they can even come for us yeah, open open. Yeah, nice, nice. Nice. i like i like to hear that yes, i like to I'm hear very, that. very much okay so then if the aside what you guys do in the vegetables if there's any other three types of farming you would want to venture into in the future or recommend like personally if you had the capital to do to mm, you today mm. you would go into what would that be the, the first one is rice farming okay because i have some friends who are they are doing rice farming nice yes, so that that's the first one the second one we are looking at um we've been thinking about it so uh catfish farming okay and that one too is there then the third one i'll look at cassava going into cassava farm very vast land it doesn't take much of your time yeah plant and leave it it doesn't require much attention it doesn't that. require anything yeah plant and leave it then every two months they will spray inside for you very vast one when it's ready after let's say six months or one year depending on the, the type right of year do, yeah. six months or one year when do you harvest them you plant and <laughs> you, you get your money yes, nice, you get your nice, money. nice so cassava catfish and then rice family rice the first one will be rice family actually the, uh, one yes, rice yes. Oh, last year i visited a friend's farm i just fell in love with it okay it's rice family yeah and this year she was it's a she oh nice yes, she will also be doing it this year again so <laughs> <laughs> so that's nice, nice. I, I, I'd like I'd like to visit her. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. All right. So, so yes, I think that that would end out this video. Um, in the next one, we'll be looking at um what they have here. Maybe we will have a tour of the farm as well. You guys should take us around. Let us let us know what you have on the farm. Okay. Subsequently, we'll look at um cabbage farming. Then we we'll look at the tomato farm. If you want to go into it, if you want to start, some information that will be useful to you. At okay. least to give you a basics into uh, at least into usher it. you into the business. Okay. Yes, you can get some information about that as well. Yeah, right. So yeah, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Share so that people can watch some of these videos and be inspired. The people out there want to venture into farming, and they need some of these videos to ginger them to at least get into it. Subscribe to the channel so we all go together. At least, as I said, this year we want to reach a hundred thousand subscribers before the year end so please subscribe to the channel so we'll go together and like like so you to provide the video to other people to get the opportunity to also go to watch about uh, watch what is going on um with the youth in agriculture here in ghana all right i'll see you guys in the next one peace out peace out